made some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 10% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the best ways to spend your trophies and what you should actually spend it on. Now of course I've been getting this question a lot over on Twitter so if you guys have any more questions for me ask me over on Twitter maybe I'll make it into a video because I'm sure a lot of questions I get over there probably a lot of people are also thinking about so please if you guys have any questions go ahead and dm me over on twitter that's the place most likely to get in contact with me or of course just comment down below that of course works as well and make sure you guys smack the like button on this video if it does help you out and of course hit that sub button if you guys are not already subbed to the channel later tonight of course we'll be having the midnight release of madden so we'll have the new superstar promo and a bunch of new players beginning a lot of gameplays with those players but with that being said let's get into this so first off we're going to start with how do you get trophies. You get trophies by going into Mud Draft, Seasons, or Weekend League. Weekend League is not out yet. I believe it's probably going to start next weekend. We don't even know the rewards yet, but I'd imagine it's going to be a lot of trophies you potentially earn from that. So, there's a lot of different options when it comes to your trophies and what you can actually spend it on. There's a lot of different things, and I got this question quite a bit. So, we're going to start off with the Wheel of Coins. Do I think the Wheel of Coins is actually worth it? So obviously, it's packed between 1k and 50,000 coins. It does not give you odds on that, obviously, because they're not going to give you odds on it. They don't want you to know the odds. With the Wheel of Coins, it's probably not the best thing you could possibly do in the world, but there's a slight chance you get something good. I'm actually going to open up one of these packs to show you guys what I personally get out of these. Watch, I'm going to pull like 50,000 coins now. 1,500 coins. Okay, so you guys can see, it's not very good. So again, it says between 1k and 50k. But it doesn't actually tell you how many things are in between. You can see there, we got 1,500 coins. So that means there's probably one at 1K, 1,500, 2K, 2,500, 3,000, 5,000. You literally do not know what quick sells could potentially be in this Wheel of Coins pack. So to me, spending 10 trophies on this, probably not the best idea. I might actually do like a giant pack opening of these one time. Uh, if I can end up getting like 1,000 trophies, I might do like... 100 of these packs just to show you guys the pack out of these because I guarantee you they're not good If you guys get the wheel of coins comment down below what you guys have gotten out of there as you guys can see I just got 1500 coins. So the pack odds they're, they're not very good with the wheel of coins pack I highly recommend you don't open this one next up of course is going to be the Hail Mary pack Hail Mary is kind of similar I guess to the wheel of uh, the wheel of coins the Hail Mary though You do get some silver players and you can can get gold players again It doesn't get pack odds or anything So it contains a 66 plus silver better player and three additional 62 silver or better players So yeah, you can get a gold you might get two gold players. Maybe you'll get a power up odds upon an elite Super super low out of this pack I would probably rather actually do the wheel of coins in this one just because you can get like 10 or 15k out of that with this one you might get four silver players and Silvers don't really go for much. More like 2,000 coins off this pack if you're lucky. Next course is going to be the midfield pack, which gives you a 9,000 coin quick sell. Or you can take the midfield pack, which contains a 70 plus gold or better player, two additional 66 plus silver or better players, and two 62 plus silvers. Again, it actually doesn't give you the pack odds. Again, so a little bit weird there. But when it comes to this, right? So we're taking a look at the packs. Midfield packs. Again, not very good. You're getting a 70 plus gold or better, 70 overall golds. You pull 70 through 75, maybe you're looking at 2K or so. Uh, some 79s are expensive, you know, like John Ross. I know he's not a 79, but 70, you know, whatever overall John Ross is. He goes for like 15K or so. Uh, guys like Will Fuller. There's some cards you can pull, might be six to 10,000 coins. Majority of these cards, though, can be like 4K or less. Now, the odds you pull an elite, not very high. Then comes the question, do you take the 9K quick sell with the four trophies, or with the 40 trophies, or do you just open up four Wheel of Coin packs? Personally, I'd probably rather take the risk. I would personally rather take the Wheel of Coins pack and just test my luck here and see if I could potentially get more than 9,000 coins. I don't really feel like the midfield pack is worth it. Uh, also, the fact of the matter is, when you guys go into Mutt Trap, let's say you get six wins. Do you get 60 trophies? I don't think that's worth it to get 9,000 coins or a midfield pack, which by the way, you also get midfield packs in the Mud Draft. So I believe you can also, I don't know if you actually get the quick sell option. I haven't played a lot of Mud Draft. Let me know down below. Do you guys get a quick sell option with midfield packs in Mud Draft or do you not? Personally, 9K coins, 
I'd probably rather go with the midfield pack and take the risk here, but this pack again is not that good. Now let's get into some better packs though. We have the red zone pack and again, it's not going to show us the odds, but you get a 25,000 coin quick sell or you get the red zone pack, which of course the red zone pack contains a 75 plus gold to better player, three additional 70 plus gold to better players, and two 62 plus silver or better. In my opinion, this is where packs actually start to be to the point where you might want to take a risk. Red zone packs can be good, depending on how many trophies you guys have. And of course, do you want to take the quick sell? And again, 25k, or you guys do nine wheel of coin packs, which in that case, you had to pull at least 3,000 coins a wheel of coin to make profit off that. I mean, you might make that. You might make that off the wheel of coins. You guys see though, I pulled 1,500 coins, so maybe, maybe it's not that good. Red zone pack though, 75 plus gold or better. Again, the 75 plus player is, if you pull a 75 and that's it, I think maybe 3k probably uh you can pull an elite out of this pack so there is that chance and of course you get three additional go to better worst case scenario right let's say you get 373 overall golds whatever that's like 6k a 75 plus gold say you get lucky for like a 70 or 79 you got like 5k you're looking at about 11,000 coins, maybe 15,000 coins just off the golds. If you only pull the golds, if you happen to pull an elite, you could potentially make more than 25k. This pack is where you might want to think about actually going with the pack. Then, of course, we have the touchdown pack. Jimmy, 20 or 200, I would say 2200, 220 trophies. This is 65,000 coins, or you get a choice of one of three 80 plus overall elite players. This, honestly, is where I'd probably take the risk. I have to say, I always do it with weekly rewards. I always take the packs. Last year, the rewards were not that good, but pack odds this year, basically everybody that I've seen, pack odds have actually been pretty solid. I'm not gonna say juiced or really, really good. Solid, they've been solid. So I think if you did this pack, you get one of three 80 plus overall elite players. The odds of you pulling an 86, which is gonna be about 65K, you might get one. You honestly might get one at least every other pack or every like third pack. So is it worth it taking the risk here? In my opinion, I'm a gambler. I love to take the risk with these things. So 65,000 coins for 220 trophies. It's up to you guys to decide. Uh, personally, if you're saving trophies for just specifically packs, this one might be the best one. 65K for 220, of course. If you did three of these, you get 75K. Let me do the math on that real quick. So if you guys are doing these packs for the quick sales, this one is actually the better like value for the 65k instead of just doing the 25 because I did the math on it and this would only equal like 21,000 coins for the same training value of 90 to 220 our trophies value. So basically the touchdown pack is the best one for quick sell. Again, you can do 22 of the wheel of coins and just pull 3k each. This is probably one where I would go with the touchdown pack because you get that guaranteed 65k or you can take the actual player. But we're about to get into the big guns. So coming over here, we have the Series 1 Competitive Masters, as well as the Coach Madden, and the 84 Plus Elite Player Pack. So you guys probably want to get Coach Madden. I'll say that right now. You definitely want to work on Madden because with this, you are allowed to go ahead and get these collectibles. With these collectibles, you are able to upgrade your team. And I'll show you guys what these Coach Madden collectibles do. We'll get into that in a second. Next up, though, is going to be the Series Masters. Now, of course, we have Von Miller, who is one of the best pass rushers in the game, and I'll show you guys his stats in just one second here, but you can get him for NAT with 1,050 trophies, or you can get the auctionable for 2,000. Now is when we're going to start getting to the deep dive of math here and show you guys exactly which one is the best value, how many coins you can make, and, of course, the Coach Madden, and then we'll get into the 84 Plus Elites. So you guys can see here that Von Miller is currently going for 1.5 million coins. Now this really depends on his price at the time. I actually saw this card sell for a million coins. Like he, he actually does sell for over a million coins as of right now. He could potentially go in for a lot less once the game comes out, more people get trophies. So keep that in mind. But he's got 81 speed, 83 acceleration, 78 strength, 87 tackling, 93 player with an 87 block shed, 90 power move, and an 83 finesse move. He is by far and away the best left outside linebacker in the game. It's not even close. Von Miller is amazing. I, for one, am definitely going to be picking these cards up for my team. Now, here's the thing, though. Is it worth it to get him auctionable or is it worth him to get an NAT? And I'm going to get into the math of that right now. So doing a little bit of math here based off of how many trophies it costs to get Von Miller, 2,000, and how many trophies it costs to get a touchdown pack, which is 220, and you get the 65,000 coin quick sell. In order for you to rather choose the Series 1 Competitive Master Von Miller auctionable version over, of course, going with the quick sell packs, Von Miller would have to be going for at least 
about 670, 680K. Basically, it's 590,000 coins is the equivalent value here. So if Von Miller is going for more, and of course you have to calculate the EA tax here. If he's going for more, then you can sell him for, so say you have about 660K. You can have 66K of tax there. So that would still be worth it because then that would come out to 594,000 coins, I believe. So you make 4,000 coins extra profit. So basically, if Von Miller's going for less than 660k, you do not do this pack right here. But, if you want to get the NAT with that same value, that's 330,000 coins. And if you guys are guaranteed 100% going to keep Von Miller on your team all year long, you're going to power up this Von Miller, then it's probably worth it to go with the NAT Series 1 uh, Competitive Master here and get Von Miller, because that's equivalent to about 330k. Now, that's up to you to guys decide. Do you want to spend 330,000 coins worth of trophies on Von Miller? Or do you want to get the touchdown pack and just take the quick sales? That's up to you. So that's it for that one. But now let's get to Coach Madden. So with Coach Madden, you guys are able to get three collectibles right now for 1,000 series trophies each. So again, that's about 330k silver worth of series trophies. It's a lot. But when it comes to the actual collectibles you guys get and then what you can use them for, it's a lot cheaper this year than last year. Last year, I believe it cost 1000 or 2000 training per one of these ones. And this, of course, is how much it costs. Only 100 training to get the Madden Chemistries. So that's very, very nice that it doesn't cost a ton like last year to go in and get Madden. And you can see here, it definitely helps you out. Unfortunately, I don't have a screenshot of the other chemistry, what they actually get you. But I do have the Madden Passing here. You can see it gets you a Pass Block Power, Pass Block Finesse, Spec Catch, Medium Roberting, Break sack, deep accuracy, medium accuracy, and beat the press. Then, of course, if you get another one, you could use that same one of men passing, get catch, short accuracy, throw power, throw on the run, pass block, throw under pressure, catch in traffic, and short route running. Now, I definitely think you want to get Coach Madden on your team, but again, that's a lot of coins to be investing in Madden and a little bit of training, not really a lot at all, basically. Uh, but basically, to get Coach Madden and then, of course, get the collectibles, it's close to a million coins if you want to get all the collectibles or a million coins worth of trophies. So, it's up to you. Do you want to invest that in the Coach Madden? Personally, unless you're going to have a very, very good team all year long, if you guys are like no money spent, maybe you don't want to go with Coach Madden. Maybe you want to go with the touchdown packs and get all the sells or get all the quick sells and just keep your coins, make as many coins as you possibly can. Or if Von Miller is going for more than like 660K, take Von Miller, which I know for a fact he has sold for over a million coins. And the final one is going to be the 84 plus Elite Player Pack. So based off just some quick math, basically the 84 plus Elite Player Pack, you have to pull an 147,000 coin card to make it worth doing this pack over going with the Touchdown Pack and just taking the quick sales based off of the trophy value. Of course, you can do two of these packs, get 130,000 coins for less than it costs to do one of these packs. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the list of players you could potentially pull. I have to say there's quite a few players you can pull that'll make you coins, but there's a lot more that you won't. So you guys can see here, this is actually the list of players that will make you coins. We have Marcus Allen, Khalil Mack, John Elway, Aaron Donald, Marvin Harrison. Basically, you have to get a super, super good pull. We're talking legend players or the highest base elites in the game. Besides that, we have Tyree Kill, Todd Gurley, Marcus Allen, 87, and JJ Watt. And also Fletcher Cox. After selling them, that still won't even make you the coins. And guys, that's only the first page. There's five pages worth of players. You can potentially pull only a 35,000 coin card. So I think we've come to the conclusion on what you guys should do. So if Von Miller is over 660K, say he's like 670, 680, and you can sell him and he's selling consistently for that price, go with Von Miller. If not, you definitely want to go with the touchdown pack and probably take the quick sell, I'll say that. Personally, I'm a gambler, but I'll still probably take the quick sells if you want the guaranteed coins. And then, of course, if you guys are really about that life and you want Coach Matt, it's going to cost you a lot. But if you already have enough coins, you're not worried about the coins, you're not worried about getting Von Miller, maybe you already have Von Miller, then you can work on getting the Coach Madden collectibles. But in terms of the best coin value, just in general, you want to go with the touchdown pack, quick sells, or Von Miller 100%. I would stay away from the 84 plus elite player pack. That is definitely not worth it. And if you guys want to get Coach Madden, it's a lot of investment, but it definitely will pay off. I hope you guys did enjoy the video though. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe and comment. Make sure you guys turn the notification bell on so you do not miss a single video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.